Hi, you've made it along to the final part of Headbangers Ball, where you're all invited along on another of our famous road reports. Now, a little earlier this week, the ball rolled down to the LA2 in London's West End to check out a killer double bill featuring Life of Agony and Ruth Ruth, both from New York, New York. It's important to kick it off with the power. That's what. That's the point I'm making. You know, it's like very important to start off with a lot of energy because by the end of the tour, you're always like drawn out anyway. So you got to get it in there while you could. You know. Last time we were in England, man, it was like we were kind of like upset because we weren't drawn. Because we were like yeah. playing in front of like 20, 30 kids. Like we did like a, a little week and a half after the prong tour. And ball. now coming here and selling our clubs is just, it feels brilliant, man. It like, it's like, wow. Even though you're going through all your, your like, your emotional roller coasters during the day, whatever feeling you're feeling, it's like, but at the end of the day, you know, the clubs are being sold out. and. Things are happening, and it, and, it, and it is continually, like continuously, uh, progressing. Basically, this new record is is about being an outcast. I mean, Alan wrote most of the lyrics, but I shared with him. Contributed. Yeah, and um, you know, we, we both have our different views. Basically, it's four different lives because you gotta remember, to to make a record like this, it, it, it takes four individuals. You know, the whole band, and you know, we all struggled and we all worked hard for this record, and we all matured over those years of touring and what have you, and. You know, this was the result. Ugly was the result of all that. And you know as well as I do that we write about true, realistic things. And, you know, ugly, everything in there, every sentence, every word, is every piece of music is just true. I forget the time he showed me Let's Pretend for the first hmm. time when he wrote it. He wrote it on acoustic guitar. And the uh, first time he showed it to me was in his, in his house, in his living room, in the old house in Brooklyn, actually. And uh, he uh, brought me in the house. He was like, check this out. I got a new song and played this incredible song for me. And with these beautiful lyrics, you know, and. I, of course, I'm family, we're cousins, so I can relate totally to what he was singing to me. And we just both like bursted out in tears and started hugging and he didn't even finish the song. Well, sometimes I like to just like to say for all the people that, that have been into us for a while, you know, because we rarely say this, you know, we just want to like really like you know really look out to them right now and say thank you you know for yeah, all the like, support you know this kind of situation is like a marriage 
and the fans are like our children in a sense. So it's like sometimes you just do it for the children, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I can. Cause she doesn't know who I am. Well, fantastic performances there from both bands. And remember to check out Life of Agony on tour in Europe for the next month. Well, that report just about wraps up tonight's edition of Headbangers Ball, but there's plenty to look forward to over the coming weeks because we've got two shows coming to you from Oakland, California. Now, next week, you can catch up with the latest news on Mr. Big and 